Hey guys, Strike here. Uh, I want to do a update um, on my channel, and I've actually... Oops, sorry, I ruffled my mic there. That shouldn't have happened. Um, I want to do an update, but I have some questions for you guys that I think you it would be really nice uh, to get a, a, some feedback for um, regarding my channel and future videos and stuff. Um, the first... Well, I don't want to get into questions real that fast because I also want to explain something real quick. I wanted to do a more personal uh, vlog type update. Uh, I got my camera out and uh, I started recording and stuff. And my camera isn't the best. Um, so it kind of screwed me over in the long run to make a long story short. And. I've been thinking about the last couple of days about getting a webcam um, for you know my channel. I wouldn't be using it in every single video, but you know, like the Five Nights at Freddy's, which I just recently did, would be really good to have since it's a horror game, and I'm sure you'd want to see my facial expressions while I, you know, get scared and stuff. And uh, first of all my okay yeah alright I might get a webcam uh, if you think I should uh, please do leave a comment in the comment section below um, this video I'm gonna be asking you to comment on my videos uh, a lot so listen to the whole video and then comment or you can start ca typing I guess when I'm talking but also comment in the comment section below um, I'm basically the premise of this video is I'm trying to find ways to make my channel more interesting. Um, my channel hasn't been growing like as much as I've wanted it to. I want to have, I don't want to like, you know, get so many people following me or subscribe to me that like, you know, I become, you know, the next PewDiePie or whatever, but I basically just want, you know, to have an active community on my channel because as much as I do appreciate those of you who are already subscribed, um, barely any activity on my videos is really like it's it's kind of it lowers my self-esteem, I guess, a bit because I'm trying so hard to make my videos as interesting and as professional as I possibly can without becoming like a fake person. I'm trying to be the real me and um, I want to know for those of you true fans of mine, true followers, true subscribers, whatever you want to call yourselves, what am I doing right and what am I doing wrong? I'd love to know um, I don't think I'm the perfect YouTuber. I know I've got some things I need to work on, but uh, I just want to know what would be, you know, more interesting to you guys. Like, for instance, I've already done Arkham Origins and Arkham City, or Arkham Asylum for the Batman walkthroughs, and I'm going to be doing Arkham City soon. What can I do to make that more interesting? What can I do to make the game experience for you guys watching at home, what can I do to make it more entertaining, more, uh, you know, interesting for you guys? Um, like I said, I've been trying to, I've been being, I've been myself pretty much throughout the course of my YouTube career. Um, I've been trying to keep it clean. I've, I don't want to like you know, have somebody watching my videos at home and then let's say like they live with their parents or something like, you know, and then they hear something I say come through the computer speakers, whatever, and you just and you get in trouble because I said like a bad word or something. Um, I've been trying to keep it clean like that. That's probably the only thing I've been trying to keep, you know, uh, uh, you know, undercover, basically, is I've been trying to keep everything in my channel clean so people don't think I'm, think of me like that. Like, I don't want to be known for that guy who always cusses in his videos, because that's not what I do. 
that's not what I do at all. I mean, if I ever slip, then, yeah, okay, I slipped. But then, like, you know, I, I, I don't do it on a regular basis enough to, like, you know, make it into a really bad habit. So, yeah, um, there's that. But, like, once again, I've been trying to be myself. And a lot of these videos and stuff um, that you that you see... I do put a lot of effort into, um, and yet, I, okay, like, okay, when I record a Batman game, I try not to talk over the cutscenes, because they're important to the story, but, like, then there are some times when, like, there are so many cutscenes in one video that I barely talk the entire time, I barely talk at all, or something like that, and so it, it ends up being, like, just... A video game walkthrough without commentary. Uh, I've done some games that don't have any talking over them, and I'm able to talk freely, but I've also been doing a lot of story-driven games. So, um, is that what you guys want to see? Do you want to see less, like, story-driven games and more, like, gameplay games or something like that? I mean, I try to keep it to the point where it's, like, you know stuff that I'm interested in, but I want to see what you guys are interested in and what you guys would like me to do. Uh, I'm going to do more Five Nights at Freddy's. I, I don't know if I've already mentioned this, but I do want to wait until I get a webcam. Um, I think a webcam would bring more emotion into it, bring more entertainment uh, to it. I probably already mentioned this already, but yeah, I want to get a webcam for, especially for horror games. I'm not sure if I would put it in, uh, like, you know, a Batman video, because I mean, what am I going to react to? I mean, I may do it for Arkham Knight. I mean, Arkham Knight, since it's going to be a new game when it comes out, obviously, duh. Uh, you know, I'm going to be reacting. And, like, okay, when I first did... When I first got Arkham Origins, I recorded it and uploaded it to YouTube, but I never added any commentary or anything. But if I had... If I quickly... If I had figured it out quickly enough to do that when it first came out, then my reactions what to the game would have been like pretty good like you know the death stroke fight I'm sitting there and I'm like how do I do this I don't get it what the heck like you know I'm freaking out like the part where you play as Joker in the story I was like geeking out I was like oh my god this is so amazing like you know that kind of thing and that's what I want to have happen to me when I go in, into Arkham Knight that's what I want to have when I go into any game whether no matter what emotion it is I want to have that in my games um in my gameplay videos I meant uh yeah and um yeah as far as my community goes I obviously only have about 365 subscribers ish uh I do want to get to 400 soon because you know you know milestones um I want to get to 400 before the end of 2014 if I can get to 400 subscribers by the end of 2014 I may do something like pretty big like I may do like a live stream to celebrate if I can figure it out um I, I want to do something to celebrate and when that kind of stuff happens and I want to know what you guys think I should do because I can I can do stuff like I, I, I don't know what I'm trying to say exactly but I'm trying to figure out what I want to do what direction I want to take my channel in as far as a community goes. Um, once again, I only have about 365 subscribers, which isn't bad. It's pretty good. I've been growing a lot recently, but to be honest, like, my channel's been around since 2009, around the time Arkham Asylum came out. And I've had, I used to do Lego videos, like, you know, back then when I was, you know, pretty well technically I was a teenager because I was 13 but like you know I was still young and I was still like this is what I'm interested in so this is what I'm gonna do and then my channel started very slightly growing and you know I think my most viewed video to this day is technically the oldest video on my channel um, way back in 2009 I did a review on a Toy Story Lego set if you find that video you get a medal uh, of it's my most viewed video to date, and it's so bad. Like, it's so bad. Like, my voice is all high-pitched and squeaky, and it's of the most childish thing you can get a Lego Toy Story set. 
and yet it's still my most popular video. It's still the the video that's giving me money from AdSense. That's crazy. But I want to make I don't want to be known as that Lego kid anymore. I want to be known as the Batman gamer dude, that guy who plays Batman all the time, that kind of guy. I want to be known as a, more of a gamer than a uh you know, Lego reviewer kid. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm still proud of my Lego reviews. I mean, those Lego sets were really expensive, and that's actually what got me probably a lot of subscribers back in the day when those Lego Batman sets were, you know, super rare and popular, and I did reviews on them because I somehow luckily got them. And, you know, people are like, oh, this guy has something that's really rare, let's check him out. And, uh, you know... When they were announced Lego Batman was coming back, like the Lego sets, uh, I did a video on it, and that blew up. That was a huge video for me, and, you know, I want to have that again. I want to have people like, oh my gosh, this guy has something different that we haven't seen before, and, um, you know, let's... I want to see more, f more of this, because this is so interesting, and I'm trying to figure out what that is. I don't know what it is about me that makes me, you know, so intri- well, I don't know if there's anything, there is anything about me that makes me interesting. That's what I'm trying to find out. Um, because I'm not gonna lie, I've been one of those attention seekers pretty much all my life. Not like, you know, people who Okay, I'm not the kind of attention seeker who makes themselves look all loud and obnoxious just to get attention, but it was attention was something that I've always wanted but never really got because I'm 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 a shy, quiet person most of the time. And uh I still kind of feel like that. I still kind of feel like I'm ignored a lot. And there are some people who give me their attention and there are some people who choose to ignore me and being ignored is not something I like at all and no one probably likes it unless you're like a total shut-in hermit person but anyway no offense to total shut-in hermit people but you know um, yeah so uh, I've just kind of asking what what I can do to make my channel better. What can I do to make my Arkham City walkthrough more interesting? And and also, if you guys think I should get a webcam for my channel, uh, go ahead and answer all those questions in the comment section below and give me your honest opinion because I want to prove. I need constructive criticism. I need something to get myself moving. Now, I'm just going to keep making videos the way I've been doing them for you guys and I really hope that you enjoy them and I really hope you um, want to stick around for a good long while and stay along for the ride tag along for the ride with me and uh, yeah so uh, that basically concludes this uh, random update video and I guess I'll just see you all in the next video Later, Gators.